Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shai Uchi, Shadongsterborn, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from the London Resort Project. Now, I know someone's been commenting numerous times asking for an update. Well, we've got an update on the project. Before we get started though, I've got a couple of shout outs for you guys. A uh, big shout out goes to Theme Park Unlimited. His channel is in the description down below. He has some fantastic videos. Uh, he's got an RCT3 series, so make sure you go support it. And also in the channel's description down below this video, you've also got the channel link for Mighty Kadoom. Now, Mighty Kadoom are a gaming channel. Uh, through Kaya and Dom. So big shout out to you two guys. I said your shout out was going to be in this video. Uh, so make sure you go follow both Theme Park Unlimited and Mighty Kadoom in the description down below. And for now guys, let's get into this Theme Park Newsroom update. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please share with your friends, family, and social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in for the next Q&A session to celebrate 2,000 subscribers. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. This theme park news update is on the London Resort. Now we have a couple of little updates for you guys uh, about the project. We've got some news on the runner of the project, P.Y. Jabao. He has recovered from the coronavirus, so a massive, massive get well soon to Jabao uh, for his constant recovery. Even though he has recovered, you know, obviously the, re the recovery process goes beyond that. So, you know, a massive, massive get well soon um, from me to you. Um, and we have some little details from an article on Kent Online as the source for this information. Uh, so let's talk about what that information is. So, from this article on Kent Online, uh, the planning application uh, has now been pushed back from its original spring date till at least October. Now, the planning inspectorate, uh, which will assess the proposal noted the applicant has subsequently updated the inspection at on the intended submission date which has been now advised will be Q4 2020. It's not uncommon for applicants to change the estimated submission date throughout the pre-application stage due to a host of factors and theme park bosses suffered a setback to plans when PY as he is known contracted COVID-19 uh, so that's been one of the main factors behind this decision. Uh, so. It has been a rough couple of weeks, but from the sounds of it, it, it they're getting on the right track. They're really, really, really getting on the right track here, guys. So it's not the longest update in the world, this. It's just a little update just to let you guys know what's going on. Um, but I do have every confidence that by the end of this year, or at the most, by the end of next year, we're going to have some confirmation on the approval of the plans ready for this London Resort project to get off the ground over the next couple of years, ready for construction and ready to open for that targeted 2024 opening date. And I've said on the channel for years, I've really wanted to get out there in 2024, get this channel on the opening day of the London Resort project. I'll be 24 by that point. If it's opening in the summer, I'll be 24, uh, if not 23. So it's going to be a, a big, big opening year for the theme park industry, for the UK theme park industry especially because it's the UK's answer to a Disneyland park. It's very well themed, very integrated with the stories and the themes. Obviously, BBC, Paramount came back in after that U-turn. ITV are involved. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be other people involved as well. So I'm very excited to see what's going to happen with that. Um, and of course, when the plans get approved, the final plans, hopefully they'll release like an official like promotional video with the concept arts and some uh, graphic designs to make to, to sort of see you know what this project's going to look like when it's done uh, the finished product I mean so what everything's going to look like when it's done are they going to open it in stages and things like that we all know uh, there's future plans for possibly a second gate part that we talked about in a previous update on this and of course like a the water park as well and of course the rest of the entertainment and the hotels etc as well as the main theme parks so uh, this is an ever growing ever changing ever revolutionizing project and I do believe that we're going to see some more stuff on this but it's just a little update this one guys not a long one at all uh, but it's just to update you guys on what's been happening about the planning of application date, uh, the submission date, uh, and also just a little bit of information about the uh, park as well. So, again, like I said, not the longest update, but just a little thing to update you guys, really. Uh, so thank you guys so, so much for watching this little update from the London Resort. Uh, please, please, please make sure you stay tuned across all our social medias. Instagram is in the description down below. Uh, I've now started adding my Twitter and my Snapchat in the description down below as well. Uh, so make sure you go check them out. Um, 
you can follow me on Facebook if you want to as well, uh, Aaron Chalner, or there's the Coaster Chal Facebook page, I'll put a link to that in the description down below, might as well, um, if you want to follow that, and my personal Facebook, if you want to follow me on that as well, and send me a message, or anything like that, I don't really post on Facebook with the Coaster Chal page, I just, you know, if you want to send a message or anything, or anything you want to shout out, then just send it in on Facebook, if not, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, any other social media sites, all of them in the description down below. Um, like I said before, big shout outs go to Theme Park Unlimited and Mighty Kadoom. Uh, so make sure you go put the shout out, make sure you go follow them in the description down below. It's let's get Mighty Kadoom to 1000 subs, let's get Theme Park Unlimited up to a very good sub count as well. 1000 would be great for them as well. Uh, let's support young content creators, very small content creators, and let's get them into the higher numbers. So thank you very much, guys. My name is Coach Chell, Killing the Ghost Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.